Hi, I'm Kevin Price with your Price Point Edition. Want to talk a little bit about the whole uh, situation with the Libya Libya crisis that uh, you know continues to go on and is, is possibly going to bring down the Obama administration. There's an angle on this story that frankly hasn't been touched by anyone. Uh, the big story early September 11th, before what took place in Benghazi, was the fact that Barack Obama had missed 60 percent of his intelligence briefing. 60 percent. That's a ridiculous number. Uh, that that means he attended 40% of the time, you know, we would all call that an F, a big failure on his part. That was the story throughout the day. In fact, I'm looking at an article right here at Newsmax, September 11th. This is before what happened in Benghazi. Then, by the end of the evening, you have the actual terrorist event take place. One U.S. ambassador, three U.S. personnel murdered, murdered by what we find out later as terrorists, though so initially there's this bizarre narrative about people seeing this film that, that uh, sparked this kind of outrage in the Middle East. And you know what, what strikes me is this is the equivalent of a kid being caught with his hand in the cookie jar coming up with excuses. Oh my God, here has been proven that I haven't showed up to 60% of the intelligence briefings, and on this very same day, Four U.S. personnel are murdered. It's an interesting narrative. And, and, of course, the reaction was, is how do I cover my tracks? How do I cover my errors? And, of course, the way they do that is by de developing this bizarre narrative that, like I said, could bring down the Obama administration. That's something to think about. I'm Kevin Price.